Most gamers worth their salt are probably familiar with the classic Street Fighter bosses like Sega, Akuma, and the Sinister M. Bison. Of course! But when Street Fighter 3 New Generation burst onto the scene in 1997, it brought with it a wild and wacky new boss whose lore is almost as ridiculous as his banana hammock. Meet Gil, final boss of all three Street Fighter 3 titles and self-proclaimed emperor of the Illuminati. Yes, you heard that right. This two-tone tyrant is the head of the Illuminati. Yeah, that Illuminati. Capcom would later change the organization's name to the Secret Society to make it less on the nose, but come on, it's the Illuminati. Gil was originally designed to showcase the power of Capcom's CP System 3 arcade board, specifically the advanced graphical capabilities that the board granted compared to its predecessor. While previous titles would simply mirror sprites depending on what side of the screen they were on, meaning that accessories such as Sagat's eye patch and Vega's claw would swap sides when they turned around, CPS3 allowed for dynamic character animation that gave the game a better sense of depth and smoothness. Thus, Gil's half red, half blue complexion, which signifies his dominion over both fire and ice in game, would remain consistent regardless of his orientation. New Generation reveals that the Illuminati were the ones pulling the strings of M. Bison's vicious Shadowloo cartel all along, making Gil the de facto man behind the man, big bad, of the entire Street Fighter series. Yet, despite all of that, old Icy Hot is far from malicious. In fact, Street Fighter's Illuminati is more concerned with saving the world rather than conquering it. Albeit in their own bizarrely esoteric way, Gil is basically their Jesus, the one prophesized to save humankind from an apocalyptic disaster and create a new world order from the ashes. Gil, ever the proactive one, wants to avert the impeding doom altogether. His plan, a special project, the G-File, is a series of activities ranging from genetic experimentation to the manipulation of global politics meant to ensure humanity's survival and the completion of the Illuminati's ultimate goal. Aside from his pyro-cryokinetic abilities, Gil's also mastered one of the Illuminati's 66 secret arts, resurrection. In game terms, this means you've basically got to beat him down twice because if he dies with a super full gauge, he'll bounce back as good as new unless he could land a perfectly timed blow to stuff his revival. For all this complex lore, however, Gil's in-game villainy amounts to little more than petty acts of trolling, like stealing British gentleman boxer Dudley's car for lulls, or promoting his power-hungry brother Urian to president of the Illuminati, the position directly under him, just to mess with him. His recent return to prominence as Street Fighter V's latest DLC character showcases his more sinister side, though. If his ominous depiction in the promotional material for Street Fighter V Champion Edition is anything to go by, he's poised to finally become the threatening presence he was always intended to be. My perfection does not require training.